Hello, this is Neil Vanderstelt, author of Global Economic Collapse, The New Dark Ages. I'm currently doing research on my new book, The Glass Banking Pyramid, Modern Serfdom, Soft Fascism. Do you know what a serf is? Do you know what fascism is? Are you living within a fascist society? Are you living as a serf to your government? These are questions you better start asking yourself if you want to live to the highest levels of attainment and live within a free society. I wrote on my uh, Facebook, I said, uh, notice nobody shared this post that I shared to my American friends. It doesn't benefit Israel. It won't make good propaganda to hate Muslims because these are their buddy Muslims. It's okay for these Muslims to behead people, mistreat women, and yes, own slaves. If this was about Shia Muslims, it would be shared one million times by now. Notice not one share by Americans. Shiites don't believe in usury, which is a form of debt slavery. So let's go ahead and watch this by uh, India Today. The three Indian men from Kerala who were beaten up by the Saudi employer at a brick manufacturing factory earlier this month returned home today. These youth were taken to Saudi a month ago by an agent in uh, Kerala who promised them lucrative jobs but handed them over to the Saudi man who beat them up. After India Today reported, them, reported their horrific experience, the External Affairs Minister intervened to repatriate them. The NEA asked the Indian ambassador in Saudi Arabia to locate these youth and arrange for their safe return. Uh, we are fortunate that uh, this issue could be solved very, uh, uh, I can say, very in a very fast pace. And uh, the External Affairs Minister, uh, Srimati Sushma Swaraj, uh, made a personal intervention. That's what I understand. And yesterday I got the message from the uh, Minister's office that uh, they are coming back by this flight. All three of them are back. They are being reunited with their families. But the future still remains uncertain and unsure uh, for all these uh, because they have taken loans, have borrowed money from friends and family to uh, for their visa by, uh, and the tickets. But now they are back home. They have nothing in their hands. And those to whom they have to repay their loans will be at their doorstep in the morning and they have no answer to give them and no answer, even the future remains uncertain. So it's also a lesson to schedule others who are going abroad for their jobs. Also about highlighting several fraudulent agents around you who promise lucrative offers but end up throwing a lot of human beings from India in the jo- in the hands of these tortious people. With camera person Jack Mari, Kirashivan, in the month of Okay, so they don't say it very well, but if this were about the Shia Muslims owning basically slaves, these uh, three men returned after being uh, beaten beaten by their master in Saudi Arabia, says uh, they were tortured. Uh, Basically what's going on in Saudi Arabia, and you don't hear about in the Western news, is that uh, Saudi Arabia hires immigrants, and it's called kafala, okay? Kafala with a K. They did not outlaw slavery in Saudi Arabia until the mid-60s, but instead of completely outlawing slavery, they just changed it. They changed the name around from slavery to kafala. So kafala means to sponsor, which means to own someone. Basically what is happening is they hire uh, people from impoverished countries to go work as slaves in Saudi Arabia, and they strip them from their passport. They, they, strip, they strip their passport. They don't allow them to have any outside contact with the rest of the world and live in menial conditions. And here you see... In this case, we're tortured. 
So this is not being reported because, of course, uh, Saudi Arabia is Israel's uh, ally and the United States ally and Britain's ally. Saudi Arabia was actually created by, uh, by the British. And India was as well, too. A lot of people don't even know that. India had a different name. The name India was given to India by the British, as well as Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia was created by the British after Saud, after Ibn Saud was his name, the House of Saud, which became Saudi Arabia. Uh, this Saudi Arabian tyrant, uh, Ibn Saud, a Persian Gulf tyrant, I should say, because there was no Saudi Arabia at the time, was propped up by the British to be the king of the Middle East so they could control their oil. But these Muslims, they're, even though they're called good, they're actually very bad. Uh, in Saudi Arabia, they behead a, a person at a rate of one, uh, one every other day right out in the middle of the street in public. And they pr practice an extreme form of the Muslim belief system called Wahhabism. So basically, the Brit British and Americans in the West are supporting uh, fascism, extreme fascist dictatorship in Saudi Arabia that includes the ownership of people through kafala sponsoring to own a person to their employer, to their wealthy employer, which can who who can do whatever they want with them and this uh post by india today is trying to expose that but it's not shared by the western media thank you for listening this is neil vanderstelt please share my post to other americans and let them know what's going on here uh we're not fighting for freedom we're fighting for fascism in the middle east to exploit their oil and it's uh it's not it doesn't benefit you whatever greedy intention you have thinking that you'll get something out of it as a as an american you, it, it won't benefit you financially either so you know whatever greedy reason you have for supporting saudi arabia you're going to end up paying for all these wars and supporting the big oil corporations are the ones that are making out from the third world slavery going on there to get the cheap oil the oil prices are going to remain the same no matter where you get the oil from. That's the big secret they don't want you to know about. But it works out better for these big oil corporations to exploit third world oil. But I'm sure you won't I'm sure you won't share my post because you're more concerned about protecting your standard of living which means supporting slavery, supporting kafala, supporting uh, Muslim extremists, uh, as long as they're Sunni and not Shiite, because Shiites don't believe in usury, uh, debt slavery, I know you won't share my post, but thanks for listening anyhow.